All right, look, this looks like it might be one of the easiest hacks in the world to make really cool, transparent, translucent glass type pieces. These are some bezel pieces I just got off Amazon, a whole bunch of different shapes and colors and sizes, and they came with this tape which I'm assuming you put on the back so that you can fill them with resin or whatever and then, and then peel it off and you know the back won't stick to your table or whatever or stick if you try to do it on paper and the paper peels up or whatever. How do we open this? Okay, so there's that. Sticky side up. So we're gonna make some of these. This is gonna be super fun. Okay, out of these three colors, I'm gonna use the silver first. Ah, oh, this is gonna be so fun. I can't wait to, to do this, ha <laughs> ha. I don't even know what I'm doing. Will it work? We will find out soon enough. Ha 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 ha, this is so great. I'm loving this already and I haven't even started and I'm using up all my shapes without even knowing if I know how to do it right. <laughs> who cares? Now people do these with resin, like epoxy resin, but I don't wanna play with resin and worry about all the two part stuff and. I got all these at the dollar store, these nail polish bottles, obviously, for a dollar each. So let's just put them in and see if they work. This says rapid dry. So it says top coat, but who cares? Let's just figure out if it works. Rather than paint it, which would take forever, I'm going to first press this really good and make sure it's on very tight because I don't want any leaking. Ugh. Oh, the nail polish smells terrible already. I might have to get some air. Make sure you're in a well-ventilated place. If you don't know anything about nail polish, which probably most of you know way more about nail polish than me, I want this, putting this on the end here, because I don't know if that makes any sense, if that part will, because uh, the bezel is turned a different way on that one. Same with these three here. I mean the, the loop at the top. This whole thing is called a bezel, right? Or whatever it's called, I don't know. It's a, a frame to hold your resin, or in this case, your nail polish. Let's see if this works. Here it goes. Now we're just gonna pour this in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So far, oops, I missed. Oh, that's gonna mess it up. I should have been more careful. All right, try again. All right. Okay. That, oh, I missed again. Okay. All right, now, hmm, I should maybe clean that up. Now, nah, nail polish remover. I'll hopefully be able to get those blobs off once it tries. So, also, um, whatever, got some on my table. I don't want that to be there. So, voila, the magic of paper towels. So now that we have our base of clear, I'm going to play around with some of the colors and try to have some fun. Now, I think, oh, crap, it's bleeding already. It seems to have gotten underneath one of, oh, it's gotten getting underneath all of them. Okay. All right, this is turning into a disaster. Maybe I should have used resin. Oh, well, I'm just going to plow through anyway. So, apparently, it looks like these two on the end are not leaking. These three were the bezel I had, they're leaking. I don't know if it's because I went too close to the edge or because, I think it's because this loop here has them raised up higher. So, I should have taken more care with that. In any case, let's forget that's happening and just play with these two. Put a little more in there, put a little more in that one. There we go, now we're having fun. And, let's put some pretty colors in. This looks good. I don't want it this dark, but I'm going to try to mix it with the clear to get like effect. Let's see if I succeed. Okay. So far, just getting a dot. We'll put it in first, and then we'll try to swirl it. See what happens. Oh, this stuff smells horrible. And I don't want polka dots, but I'm starting with polka dots just to get it in there. All right. Now put some in this one too while I have it open. Get it off. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now. So obviously you want to buy more clear than anything else, but also one bottle goes a long way. So this is sparkle purple. That's going to be fun, right? Let's find out if it's fun. I don't know yet. Maybe it'll be fun. Sometimes you got to drop it in there twice to get it to come out. Okay. Come on. There we go. Now I'm going to get a toothpick and see if I can swirl these around. 
also from the dollar store. Hmm. Yeah, it's getting more opaque than I wanted. And, okay, I put too much. So you need way tiny amounts of the solid colors and way more of the clear is what I'm learning from this. And instead of making cool swirls, it's just turning uniform now. Can I remove the pink? I don't think so. I think it's too much in there, but I'll give it a shot because I'm just having fun and winging it. So maybe if I scoop some out. Nah, this is not working. Oh, it's coming out, but I think I might just end up with a heart that is not really see-through, just kind of solid dark pink. And same with this guy. So, uh, that's no fun. Maybe we can just dip all these in acetone and start over again. Maybe that, let me try that. Okay, I can't find acetone. So we're going to take this and move it to a paper towel and try to fix it later. I'm going to move this mess into this box here at the edge of the table. Yep, yep, mess it is. It is a mess. Ooh, look at that. Now it's starting to roll, start to come out of here. Oh, I think I might have saved it by throwing it down in that box. Hold on. Yep, it's, it's, um, oh, no, I just totally pulled it out. Okay, I'm going to wipe it off. This is all over my fingers. This is not good. You're probably not supposed to get nail polish on your fingers. I don't know. I don't even know what this stuff is, but I'm going to wipe off. I know you don't. it doesn't rinse in the sink because it's not, like, water-based. That's why it smells horrible. That's why you need acetone. You need the nail polish remover to get it off. But it is still wet. And Oh, my gosh, it smells horrible. <laughs> okay, so I'm just wiping it, trying to get as much off as possible while it's still wet. I'll get the rest off later after, after I um, find nail polish remover. So... Maybe we can start all over with the silver. Hey, why not? I like the silver the best for the colors I want to do today, so let's try it. All right, let's pretend there was never any nail polish on here. You guys didn't see this. It never happened. Wiping this up. Oh, yeah. Just try not to breathe too much. I try not to pass out. And my beautiful box full of nail polish and junk. Isn't that great? Okay, so now that I'm an expert with a lot of experience in this, Let's cut another piece of tape from here. Where's the end? Man, I'm so good at this now. All right. Failing forward. Let's put the tape down. Put the bezels back on. This time, let's be more careful. Now, this one we know sticks fine, and we know this one sticks fine. These are the problem ones. So let's stick these really good. Get on there, good. Okay, now, these I'm gonna put right at the edge, but make sure it's totally on, if that makes sense. I'm gonna, I'm gonna press it tight like that, really tight, so we're not gonna have any leakage. This is something you really don't want when you're using bezels or adult diapers. No leakage. Press that right, okay, there we go. And press that tight from the back. Just push it tight from the back. This is where how you prevent leaks, both with these and you press it tight from the back to prevent leaks with adult diapers, I'm assuming. All right, that one is... All right, let's just assume that one's on there the way I want. Press it all around tight. Smooth it, smooth it tight on there. Okay, you're good. Hopefully it's going to work this time. Get the tape off my fingers. Okay. All right, this says base coat. So maybe if, even if it doesn't dry as fast, maybe we should use this first. I don't know. Really don't know. I'm just going to pour them in again and hope they don't leak this time. There's one. There's two. Whoa. There's three. It has like this little hair of splatter that comes out. I don't know what that is. There's like a little fuzzy on there or something. Whoop. And success. I don't think they're leaking yet. Not any of them. That needs a little more. And that needs a little more. A little bit more. A little bit more. This is actually very relaxing right now. Because the hard... Oh, I made a tiny drop right there. Okay, hopefully that won't be the worst. 
Okay, now this time I'm going to take my toothpick and dip it in the colors because I want to be very careful about how much of these, because co these colors are powerful and they take over from the clear and pretty soon they just fill it up. So I'm going to take the tiniest dot, put it there, and it's doing nothing. Take a little more, put it in there, it's doing nothing. Take a little more, put it in there, and right, I'll try taking some from here. There we go. Now that's a tiny dot. Now I'm turning the toothpick over, use the dry side of the toothpick, and I'm going to try it. Oh, now we're getting it. Swirl. Yeah, baby. Swirl that. It looks like a cute little purple mustache. Okay. Let's try it again. Take a little bit. Put it right there. Put one more right there. Oh, it's not coming out. All right, we'll take the other. Oh, shoot. I'm getting it on myself. Okay. Look at that. Ew. All right. And we'll try to swirl. Now we're talking. Oh, yeah, that's pretty. I'm getting the hang of this. All right, we'll take a little drop. That's not working. All right, let's see if we can spread this one out more. So, oh, yeah. Now we're talking. It's like starting to look like a sea creature. Like it looks like a person or like a, um, like a, what's it called? Like some kind of a jellyfish or something. Oh, yeah, and it's, it, we're smoothing it and we're blending it and it looks freaking cool. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's what I, this is what I wanted. All right, we're not going to add any more because we're just spreading out the tiny two little dots we have here. All we need. Spreading them out. That looks amazing. Be a little more violent. Let's spread them out a little more. Spread that top part out. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. Okay. That's good. That's going to look cool. Right, we're going to try some of this greenish turquoise color on this one. And I'm going to try to use it to brush. I'm just do the tiniest dot right there. Come on, get off. Get off. Here it comes. Here it comes. And dot. There it is. That might even be too much. That's it. We'll get a clean toothpick. Oh, this is so fun. Remember to take a break from your room. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. All right, I can use a little dot, another dot, because that one isn't as overpowering. But maybe just one more, and then I'll try a different color, because I want this to be... Whoa, that's a big dot. That might be too much. Okay. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That looks amazing. Maybe we can stretch this one out a little more like that. Oh, this is cool. Oh, this is a shimmery color. You ladies know about those shimmery colors, I bet. You were holding out. You weren't telling me. Oh, this looks so awesome. Oh, yeah. You got to see these when they're done. This is going to be amazing. All right, I'm going to try to switch to a light green, a different green, because I want some variation in this one. Ah. Okay, I'm just going to take it off like that. Maybe I can just dot it. There we go. Got the dot in there. We'll do one more, one more dot. A little dot right down there. Got it. Okay. Now we're going to stretch that one out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, maybe you could let this dry and then put another layer of a different color. That would be cool. But this is already looking so cool. Oh, yeah. So cool. All right. I'm going to stop there and just let that dry. Um, maybe... I don't even think I'm going to put more in the pink. I'm going to let them dry, and then I'm going to put another layer. That way I'm not going to mess up what I already did. But I'll have layers of stuff, like, interplaying with itself and all that junk. This one started to um, get, what's the word, ooze out. But these two seem to be holding firm. So I'm counting this as much bigger success than last time. Um, let's do, let's try the sparkly purple in this one. And we're in. Let's put one in this one, too. And we're in. And we're not going to worry about the moon right now because the moon is leaking everywhere. Okay. Let's get a fresh toothpick. And... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now, this glitter isn't like... It's not um, making as cool of an effect as just the regular nail polish. It's kind of dissipating. It's kind of. I think the glitter is based in clear. I think that's why. This is just a bunch of glitter sitting in clear. So we can be more heavy-handed with this stuff. Because it's actually based on clear. So it's not going to overpower the other clear. And if we go too thin, the glitter is just going to spread out. It's going to look like nothing. Man, you ladies are having tons of fun doing your nails. You've been holding out. This is so much fun. Okay. 
Yeah, I like that. It has a lot of see-through effects. It doesn't have those cool swirls that you can see as well, but um, it's not too bad. And it has to get a little bit of swirl there. That's cool. Let me put a little more. And then we'll wait and let this dry, and I'll show you it when I add the next layer. There we go. That was cool. There we go. That should be good. That looks fun. All right, let's let them dry, and then we'll do another layer. I don't know. These might have to dry overnight. I don't know how long it takes when it's this thick, so just make sure you can't move this once it's here. It's going to get everywhere, so I would put it on a board first so you can pick it up and move it. Luckily, this studio I can walk away from, and I can run some fans tomorrow if the fumes are still terrible smelling, but I get to go home, so we're okay, but um, just a little word of safety. Can you imagine... Ladies having all the fun. All us guys get to do during sleepovers when we were kids is play video games. Here the women are making all this art with their nails and they're singing Friday nights and the lights are low. Looking out for a place to go. That music, anyone can die. You are the do do do. Do do do. And when you get the chance, you are the dancing queen. So, anyway, let's come back and see what this looks like in the morning. See that girl, watch that scene, take in the dancing queen. Here's an even easier way you can have fun. I got these glass cabochons on Amazon also, and come in like ovals and circles and hearts and squares and so let's get some of these out okay this is so much easier because all you have to do is paint the nail polish on you don't have to make a big deal out of it so let's see how easy this actually is now that I said it's easy and I never did it Ooh. yeah that glitter is cool so we're just painting it on the black because the convex shape of the cabochon will magnify whatever we do and make it look cool, even like more cool in that fishbowl effect from the other side. So we're putting some of that on there. And let's while we have this one open, let's add it to all the pieces we want to do. Oops, do not, let's not drop it on the table like I just did. Okay. Remember, I'm putting a lot of layers and colors, so I only want to put, put it in a few key spots. But we're having fun here. Let's pick up that dot if we can try to move it back up there. Yeah, it's a mess. I'll just uh, wipe that up. That stuff is really spread, Ch big chunks of glitter. So we'll just, you know, just put a little bit in there. All right. Let's try the shimmery one and again. This one was really good. I think I want to get shimmery colors from now. Maybe I'll actually spend more money than the dollar store if I can get really nice shimmery colors because they were just like amazing. It's a little different effect on here than it was when I was blending it with a toothpick. Let's get a toothpick again and see if we can blend this better, but I don't know if it'll work the same as when it was in a big puddle of clear. Yeah, this is, it's not quite, it's a lot different, but it's still cool. I still like the effect. I like how this is coming out, so it's kind of cool.
Let me be very more specific how I paint these particular ones. Oh, camera wasn't even zooming in that whole time. All right. Whatever nail polish you're not using, you should put the cap on because the fumes are horrible as it is, and also you might spill it. I'm getting close to passing out here. I should probably go outside and take a break for a minute. This one I actually tried smearing with my finger, and then I dropped it on the floor, and it got full of dust. And then I tried to rub the dust off and smeared it some more. So now it's all crazy, and it's drying pretty quick, though, when I smear it really thin. It's also all over my fingers now, which I guess is good. So I got two dots here, and I'm just just doing that. Like, why? Is that wrong? I don't, I don't know. If it's wrong, I don't want to be right. Is that lipstick on your collar? Mr. Cabochon, were you having a rendezvous somewhere? Ooh. I'm going to try mixing nail polish. Did you ladies know you can mix nail polish? Maybe you did, maybe you didn't, but now you're going to find out because I'm going to try it. I'm going to mix some of that blue with some of this purple. Let's see what I come up with. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Put some of that on here. Oh, yeah, that's a deeper, deeper blue. Deeper purpley blue. Oh, yeah, it's a deeper purple purple. That other purple is kind of a raspberry. This is more of a purple purple. See that? And see, it looks like goopy out here, right? It looks like, eh, that doesn't look like much of anything. It just looks like a little goopiness on the clear. But turn it over and watch the difference. See how much cooler that looks on that side? And now imagine it wire-wrapped in silver. That's a cool cabochon. Look how easy it was to make. Just a few dabs of different colors of nail polish on these glass cabochons. And letting it dry for about half hour, and that's it. Not much, right? Not much. Look at this side. Ooh, it's kind of pretty on that side. But now I can see I can add more because there's a lot of empty space on this one. Mixing some red and turquoise now. Ooh, yeah. That's a pretty purple. Now I ordered these butterflies and leaves and more butterflies. And they looked like... They were glass in the photo. I ordered them online. I thought I was going to get these actual nice, gorgeous, multicolored glass pieces. And now they come, and they're like thin as foil. But they do have this reflective rainbow pattern. So I'm going to cut these out and see if I can put them into some of our nail polish and have some fun with that. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. That is a gorgeous design. So let's put, see if maybe we can cut these up and lay them in there. That will be cool. Now, I thought they were plastic. They actually are metal. They're very, very, very thin metal. So... I might damage my scissors cutting them. So I'm going to make sure I use dollar store scissors or even like wire snips maybe, like jewelry cutters, and try to snip them real carefully, see if it works. I think I want this particular part of a wing to be in a piece, and it's not cutting. Let's try the scissors. Ooh, that is not cutting. Ooh, it's cutting. It's hard, but it's doing it. Okay. There we go. I actually have some metal snips that I could use, but I want to show you guys how you don't have to buy expensive tools. So that's a cute little piece of a butterfly wing. It has like a little rose in there. And I'm going to lay it into one of the, either the bezels or the cabochons. That's going to look cool. I'm actually going to put it in one I already have started, because I think that'll be cool. Yeah, I like that. Check that out. Oh, that's awesome. Now I'll just put a little clear on top to hold it in place. 
I think I'll cut a little more of my butterfly first. I gotta be careful, that is really sharp metal and it's like little parts are sticking up. I'm gonna get my pliers first and try to lay it. Make sure it lays flat. Round nose pliers are not what I want, but that's what I reached for. But I just wanna make sure this lays nice and flat before I try to glue it on with the nail polish. I don't want any sharp edges sticking up that will come and stab someone later. Maybe I'll put several layers of the nail polish. Okay, if we move, oh, that one's already stuck on there. Uh, that one doesn't quite fit totally. So I'm going to cut it again so it fits. Oh, it's already sticking. There we go. Get off my finger. Get off my finger. Yes. Okay, this looks cool. Now look at this side. Oh, look how it, you can't even see it. And then you see it, it blends in. Oh, so fun. Look at this one. I'm going to put a whole butterfly in here. Which side do I want? I don't know. I think they're the same. Ooh, does it fit? Does it fit? Oh, barely. Barely fits. Oh, can I make it fit? Oh, i got to turn it square. Nope, still not fitting. Okay, that's close enough. Oh, so pretty. I want it a little off. Nope, can't get it off center. It'll stick out. All right. a little more on top. There we go. Oof. Flat nose flattens these out better. After being cut, you want them nice and flat. I tried sanding the edges a little. It didn't really do much, but if you coat enough nail polish around it, hopefully it'll be encased so none of this sharp stuff will ever poke out. Several layers, I'm thinking. I wonder if I can just take this tape and just put nail polish on top of the tape and just make, like, maybe very thin earring pieces just with that. I'm going to try it. I'm going to have to add more tape to get this tape to stick without keep you know, without moving every time I touch it. So I'm going to take some other tape and put it on the sides just to hold this tape down. Okay, it's been a few days. These look like they're too paper thin. I was just trying to put globs of different kinds of uh, nail polish just on the tape by itself. They're way too thin. I'd have to do this for days and let it keep piling up, which I plan to do. And maybe I'll show you in a future video. But they do look kind of cool, and I think they'll be see-through. So I plan on piling these up, and then I'm going to take scissors and cut leaf shapes, like marquee shapes, where it's like a, like a lemon shape kind of, or a leaf shape. And I'm going to punch holes and make these into earrings. I think that's going to be awesome. Um, these all seeped through. That's all wet nail polish that stuck to the table. These Only these right here worked. And I'm going to have to clear that off the table. That's gross. Ew, it's sticky. But these came out, so I'm going to carefully peel these off. Now this is, you well, know, I'm a little worried. Maybe I should put more layers first, but I'm going to go careful and, uh, no, I think it's taken off the, yeah, it's taken off the whole thing. It's not working. So these will only work with resin, not nail polish, apparently. It's a cool idea, but the nail polish is not strong enough to resist the tape. It, it, it worked, but... I'd have to put a lot more layers of nail polish on both sides, which I plan to do. Actually, that, that worked not too bad. But, yeah, that has more of a work in progress. This one, let's see if we can get it off without peeling up the whole butterfly and all that. Yeah, it's taken off a lot of the nail polish. But, yeah, if I had been more patient and spent more days putting more layers, it probably would be stronger. But that one's kind of cool. I'd have to, like, clean up the edges there with some scissors. Now, these are the real promising ones. These glass cabochons with the cut pieces of butterfly behind them. See, this is my favorite. Look at this one. Look how that turned out. That's really cool. It's two different pieces of butterfly wing that I cut out, and then there's all different kinds of glittery 
and other shimmery nail polish. And I could add more layers, I plan to. But I wanted to finish this video instead of just going on and on forever. So this is without any butterfly wings. This is just adding layers of nail polish. It looks fun, right? And you can add more. That's another butterfly wing with some nail polish colors. And so I'm going to put the link to these glass cabochons in the description and the link to get these shimmery metallic butterfly pieces because it's really fun and it's not a lot of effort. And I wanted to do this with nail polish first so you could see like what I thought would be the easier way. Did I say, is this one my favorite? This is my, definitely my favorite die. No, I said this one, right? Yeah, this, this one is definitely my favorite. Check that out, that's super cool. Imagine now wrapping that in some silver, making a nice necklace out of that. That's really cool. Well, yeah, I wanted to do a nail polish first to show you like with the dollar store how easy it is, but resin is really the way, two-part epoxy or any kind of resin. So that one's kind of pretty. There's no butterfly or anything added. It's just nail polish. So you can do these with just nail polish. But I'm going to try to do them now with the resin in the next couple videos. So that should be pretty fun. And I'll see you guys soon.